the message needs to go out to people that the effect of voting BNP has real consequences for, for jobs and investment and for the reputation of the city. And what the curtailing of the BNP vote in the parliamentary election shows is that, you know, Stoke is turning its back on that kind of politics at a, at a parliamentary level, and that's good news. I think it's really important that we have a strong voice for Stoke-on-Trent in Parliament and so I'm just thrilled, I'm absolutely thrilled. I'm glad that this election um, is now over and we can start on the real work but obviously we'll be waiting to see what happens nationally because what happens nationally will affect what we do here in Stoke-on-Trent. Well I will work with anybody that furthers um, what we need in our city, you know, I don't mind who they are as long as they and their heart are interested in what we have here in Stoke-on-Trent and turning it into the first class city that it should be and can indeed be again, uh, then I will work with them, absolutely.